Little pickle. Yes, guys. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Pickle Rick. Little pickle. Big pickle. Pickle Rick. Little pickle. Pickle Rick. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, guys. Hey, guys. Well, as you saw, the countdown series is now over because today, if you're watching this as I posted it, today is the special day. Opening day is finally here. And what better way for the big pickle? To celebrate opening day is opening the final two of these value packs, solo packs, fat packs, whatever you want to call them. These of 2021 Panini Prism. We have two fat packs left, which means the two 12 card, the two packs are the 12 card pack and then the six red, white, and blues. Now, as we've mentioned before, we were quite surprised to realize after opening 30 we'll call it somewhere in the neighborhood of three dozen of these we're still quite a ways away from completing the base set somehow I think probably about 70% done um, and I think it's probably a good portion of it, of it is the level three cards which is the between 200 and 250 those ones are a bit trickier but also a fair number in the tier one and tier two these packs being a little bit devious there we go all right got a bonus pack i got a regular pack let's hope that these last two fat packs help to close the gap some on those remaining cards that we need for complete set. Will we go back to the well? I know Dave and Adam still has a fair bit in the way of blasters and mega boxes. Blake Snell finally found himself a home. Glad it was not the New York Yankees. Oh, Alec Manoa. Will he find his form again this year or is it going to be more of the ugliness of 2023. Let's hope not. Tucker Davidson, Nolan Arenado, Mike Yastrzemski, Charlie Blackman, another rookie, Josh Fleming, the Beebs, Shane Bieber, onto our inserts a Joey Gallo Fearless. Oh. Interesting. I thought it was all inserts after that, but we get ourselves a, believe what is a tier three, Pedro Martinez. Unfortunately, I don't believe that's one of the cards we needed. Uh, a stargazing of Xander Bogarts and a Lumber Inc. of Chicago's own, Tim Anderson. Or at least he was with the White Sox at the time. All right, so got ourselves. I guess this would be the hit of sorts: the Xander Bogarts Silver Prism. Unless, of course, Alex Manoa returns to form, and then uh, having another one of these. We have quite a few of those Alex Manoa rookies, but I'd say the uh, the value has been. Uh, Falling off quite significantly over the last nine months or so. Anthony Rendon has not been able to stay healthy while in LA. Kyle Cody. Brandon Belak rookie card. German Mercedes rookie card. Stickage. Adonis Medina rookie card. And Keegan Aiken. Earth. All right. 
On to pack number two. The excitement of opening day. Every team is tied for first place. Everyone's got a chance. As far as whether this Blue Jays team has a chance, well, there's always a chance. They certainly have a very good starting rotation when healthy, when pitching up to form. Uh, and they bat, well, they've got potential that needs to be uh, rediscovered, I guess. And we'll see if big, bad Vladdy Jr. has a return to 2021 form and leads this team to uh, a lot more wins this year. And maybe another playoff run. Maybe even, dare we say, a playoff win. Ronald Okunia Jr., 70-30. Unbelievable, that guy. Zach Gallon, Trevor Story. Remember him being quite the story when he first hit the scene and just crushing homers left and right. Francisco Lindor. Oh, look at that. Another Blake Snell. Well, I can say that I don't even know that a lot of these fat packs are even from the same box. So maybe not that surprising to pull two Blake Snells. So worst cards to pull. Jemai Jones. Kyle Lewis. Mike Soroka. I'll always remember Mike Sorotka. Traded from the Chicago White Sox to the Blue Jays. Never pitched a single game after he got injured. Many rumors that he may have been injured at the time when he was traded. But just one of those heartbreaks as a fan. Jose Ramirez Illumination. Very nice. We of course have our Jose Ramirez. One of one. Which I guess for this potential finale should really have on display. The star gazing. Show it off one last time. I guess for this channel. It's a big deal. One of one. Read it to Dan. Alright. Kirby Pocket shout out. Julie Farnham and all the rest of you twins fans. Joey Bar rookie class prism. Look at the shiny foiliness there. And then a Dylan, 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 Dylan Carlson. All right, on to our bonus pack. Before we make it a wrap, good luck to everyone's teams, I suppose. Can't really say that I wish you luck over and above the Blue Jays, but you know. Josh Bell. Flashy prism right there. A Cody Bellinger. Trent Grisham, San Diego. Garrett Cole. Starting it off with an injury there. Corey Seager. And end it off with a Big Mac. A delicious Big Mac. Mark McGuire. Who can forget the chase for 60? 261, I guess, was at the time. Him and Sammy Sosa. That was some excitement. And hopefully, lots of of excitement to come in this upcoming baseball season. For me, I'm hoping the Blue Jays can find a way to make things exciting and maybe score some runs this year, maybe even score some runs in the playoffs. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Happy opening day. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Yes, guys. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Pickle ring. Little pickle. Big pickle. Pickle ring. Little pickle.
Take a break. Let's go. Yes, guys.